Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. So I'm recording this a couple of days after having gone to Photocon LA 2018. I thought I'd do a recap of the show, at least from my perspective. This is not a, a journalistic thing about all the you know, keynotes that were delivered and so on and so forth. This is my personal experience there, having never really been to a trade show before, certainly not for photography. I thought the size of it was a good introduction to trade shows. It wasn't too huge. It had a, uh, I think I would describe it more as a little more of a, um, a sales oriented trade show. You know, it's put on by Sammy's camera out of LA, you know, big camera shop. They got you know, lots of great stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of like um, if, if there were a B&H on the West Coast, I'd, so I'd say it's Sammy's camera in LA. And uh, they did have some educational parts as well. I just went to the trade show. I wanted to get a feel for what it was like, talk to a few of the vendors and so forth. And um, the, the few places that I visited that I spent you know, quality time, uh, certainly went by the Sony booth just to, you know, to chat with some folks that I know, some folks that I'd met uh, this, this time around, just to you know, hold and play and tinker with the, with the new gear. Um, road mics stop by them uh, really was kind of closing out the chapter on audio for this room and this this recording area so um, my microphones moved yet again this is giving me a little more space for my hands hopefully this little floating head isn't isn't too terrible but um road did not have what I was hoping to find which was a, a lav mic with a direct input to USB I'd need other surrounding equipment to do that it's certainly possible they actually had a really um, nice system I wrote it down it was the um, the NT1 system and that looks really really nice and it might be something I do in the future if I think about upgrading uh, yet again for audio or maybe having multiple inputs I'm not sure if that's ever going to be necessary since I'm kind of a one-person show, but it was good to know what the options were, and the folks at Road were, were awesome. They were great to talk to, very forthcoming with all sorts of information. Um, the next place I stopped, or I, that I found was was meaningful to me, was x -Rite. So a few vlogs back, I'm not exactly sure which one, talked about having a space set up for post-processing, and one of the things was color management. And really, you know, getting consistent color through your monitor. I've been using uh, something from Data Color called a Spider, and it's worked fine, and it continues to work fine. It is getting a little bit old, and so I wanted to talk to Xrite and see about their offerings. And in particular, I wanted to understand what could be done for things beyond the monitor, like my printer. Uh, and ended up speaking with them, and I and I purchased the 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 i1 system. I want students actually right uh, here and I'm gonna crack that open <laughs> in a little bit and start uh, start tinkering with it and playing with it and what really drew me to make the you know the purchase and take the plunge on it is I can do my monitors I know how that works I can do print jobs they explain how all that works I get a color checker card so I can use that when I'm out in the field filming and so with the video I'll be able to get a better uh, color representation you know it's not not much different than a gray card, except what sounds really cool is their software integrates with a lot of different other software packages, namely Lightroom. So I'm very curious to see how smooth and seamless I can make these integrations once I've created these various profiles for all my different devices. So that's gonna be another uh, exciting little adventure, maybe a summer project, <laughs> see how uh, that turns into. And the, the last thing I would say was probably the best part of the show for me was just talking with other photographers. I did actually meet a couple of folks that had uh, seen the YouTube video. I said, I think I'm going to this. If, you, if you're going, let me know. I think it helped in retrospect, I realized this, that I was wearing the same shirt in the video that I ended up wearing to the show, and that wasn't intended. It just kind of, that's how it happened. I don't have that many shirts, and I threw on that blue shirt I was wearing, and people picked me out of the crowd, and, you know, Thankfully, they you know, came up. We ended up having really nice conversations, just talking all about photography, what we like to shoot, and what we saw at the show. And so, so all in all, it was a good visit. Um, I think it makes me a little better prepared. If um, I haven't haven't fully sold myself on um, Photo Plus Expo, pretty close to doing it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think it gives me a better preparation for that show. So. That's going to wrap up this vlog, I think. And um, Oh, you know, last thing I should say is I thank the gang at Sony. They, uh, they were doing cleaning services there. I got all my camera bodies cleaned for free, part of the show. And so if you have a show nearby that's doing a camera cleaning in addition to the price of a ticket, 
know, the, the price of a ticket for the floor, far less than a professional sensor cleaning. Take advantage of that and bring as much stuff as you have. In retrospect, I should have brought more of my lenses and had them clean those as well. So that's it. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to say about Photo Plus, or not Photo Plus, for uh, PhotoCon LA. And uh, now i got to go crack open this uh, this X-Rite device and start tinkering with that. Thanks. Again, I'll see you next time. My name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.